Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a, another episode, and this one's gonna be a little bit different. Now, first of all, I'm wearing a mask because I made a grave mistake. I'll get into that later, like a very big mistake. Anyways, I'm trying to keep this video short. I'm gonna be going over my setup, and the reason I'm making this video is because I wanna start a whole desk setup series where as, you know, the months and years go by and my desk progresses and changes, I wanna be able to present to you how I'm changing and therefore how the desk is changing as well now I'm not a big spender I don't have a lot of expensive stuff or equipment or anything like that so you're gonna be seeing that I don't go over the top with any of my peripherals I just take what I need and get out take what you get give nothing back now before we begin I think it's important to talk about who this desk setup is for for me congrats what am I doing a few things first of all I'm studying so I don't really study here I study in the library that's my kind of go-to I take a laptop I should actually bring those in. So there's no shortage of laptops either. I have the Surface and the MacBook, so Windows and Mac, and I like to keep them both because aside from just studying, I'm also traveling a lot because of business. Now, uh, some of you may know because of my other videos, I do own a few properties and I do Airbnb, uh, short-term rentals and long-term rentals as well. Uh, and there's a lot more to it than just collecting checks. But I also have a holding company which op operates financial companies and things like that. Because of that, I am traveling a lot. And so what I've done is actually replicated this exact setup three times in three different cities in three different countries. Uh, primarily the ones that I travel to the most so that when I get there I don't first of all need to rent a hotel because that takes money uh, and I have a perfectly high speed setup in every place that I'm going to. But sometimes I have to go to a destination where I don't have a designated setup that I don't go to a lot and that's when I'll bring both of these so that even when I go to somewhere that's not necessarily uh, you know a home I still have a dual monitor setup but just with two monitors like this. So that's why I have two computers uh, and these are primarily only used for traveling. If I'm not traveling or you know going to the library to study or traveling these just stay home and do nothing. Now why do I have a dual monitor set up? Well, on one screen I like to watch K-drama and on the next screen I like to watch my Robin Hood account drain out. Once you start getting used to a dual monitor setup, it's really hard to go back. Like you cannot go back. Generally it's entertainment on one side because my job is very boring and then it's my actual job and whatever I'm working on. So this desk setup is for studying, for working and for videos. So editing videos, which I do now. Uh, I added my videos and stuff like that and so I'll do this on this setup as well. So the duel really helps because I'll be editing the video on one and then having some like lo-fi music or something playing on the other, anime, whatever it might be. So all of all three of my desk setups that I mentioned are generally the same. They have the same dual monitor setup, same desk space, although the color might be different. One of them is black, one of them is brown, and one of them is white, but the same PC as well. And I won't get into a PC build in this video, but it's got a pretty respectable um, 1660s Ti. Uh, it's got an AMD Ryzen card in there. Uh, it's got a pretty good motherboard. So it's a, it's a respectable build. Uh, nothing to laugh at, let's just say. All right, it's not a 3090, but it's respectable. I don't need a 3090. I just need a respectable build, and that's pretty respectable. Coming down here, well, I have a Razer Tournament Edition. Got the name. <laughs> But this is a TKL or 10 key less keyboard. Um, I have so many keyboards, it's not even funny. But before this, I was using the full size keyboards and then I was introduced to this uh, and I was like, this is amazing. This is, this is revolutionary. I'm using a Razer Naga Trinity with the 12 button option because again, I'm using these two. To play do wow this is slippery right now this is the razor firefly mouse pad a hard edition um made in taiwan razor chroma so uh generally i'll take this out whenever i'm gaming uh and i'll be using this with this mouse uh it's just the perfect combo now over here i have some declaration so this is like kind of going back into my work i don't know if i can show you this um but basically like it's when you when someone says you know they rent out apartments it's not just about going out and collecting the rent checks it might be about that that's part of it okay all right okay. if you own like a lot like for example if you own 30 units in one building it's no longer about going to those 30 units and collecting checks you need to make sure that you can operate in that building uh, because 30 units in a building of 700 is 
quite a lot. Uh, and that means you also have a big voting right. So when there's laws and regulations that are being passed in that building, you want to make sure that your vote matters the most. Uh, and so everybody wants to like, you know, get on your good side uh, and kind of vote with, with, you, with whatever you're voting for. Uh, because if you have majority vote, then you're basically going to win each time. And the reason you want to have majority vote is because, well, for example, if a building is doing Airbnb rentals, one of the things that you might have to end up voting on is whether Airbnb should continue to be allowed. Because a building or condo building with a lot of Airbnb units, the prices can go down because people don't want to move into, you know, places like that. Uh, and so if the board decides, hey, we're going to put Airbnb ban uh, and you have to put that up for voting, you want to make sure if most of your units are Airbnb units, you want to make sure that doesn't happen. So it's very important to be networking, to make sure you're showing up to these meetings and events, uh, growing your influence so that you can continue doing business uh, in a specific district or in a building or something like that. So there's a lot more to it than just collecting rent checks. So over here also I have my iPad um, Black Edition. Generally, if I need one more screen because 1K drama isn't enough, Oh, that was bad. I have two playing, so there'll, there'll be something playing here. Or this might just be Google Keeps. I'll have that open to take notes really quick, stuff like that. Uh, so, you know, generally I do like to keep this here. And the reason I like to keep this here is because back there I have my main bag. It's the Louis Vuitton um, satchel, I guess you can call it. Uh, and the iPad fits extremely well into that bag. The uh, laptops don't, so if I'm going to be traveling, maybe like a day trip or something i'll take that bag and i'll take the ipad with me um and it can also feel like a few notebooks and things like that i'm still a very a pen paper kind of person i like to use pen and paper i don't like taking notes online just not a fan of that over here i have my goyard passport holder i should not show this stuff um so it has my passport it is canadian because i am a canadian man uh and it has like my covid 19 vaccination card so i am double vaccinated now congratulations to me uh it has my university pass so, and the reason that i keep it here is because again i'm traveling so so much ladies and gentlemen i travel like twice a month to different countries at least twice a month to different countries and so this just stays here because i know i'm just gonna get some sort of someone's gonna send me an, an, an appointment and i gotta be there and i see it pop up so i just accept to pick this up Put it here, throw both of these into that bag, and I'm out. It'd be like that sometimes. I am using these Logitech speakers uh, down here. They work fine. They're not anything to be crazy about. As we get over here, you're also going to see some pictures up there. Those are just, and this nano. So first of all, I'll talk about these lights. Nano Leaf uh, LED lights. These were purchased back in 2020 uh, for $200. So this is probably one of the more expensive things per I don't know per use that I have because they do absolutely nothing but aesthetic and it is very aesthetic now I can buy more and grow the whole thing but it's again two hundred dollars ladies and gentlemen for nine pieces that's a lot of money so but they still look nice so that you gotta be said they still look nice so this theme is called inner peace right oh it got really bright didn't it this is a uh, this one's called Nemo can you guess why um, because it is orange and white. Congratulations. Uh, and then you'll see pictures over here. So these pictures are just ones that I found very interesting. Uh, I don't wanna say they mean a lot to me because that's cheesy, but uh, they're very significant, I'll say that. Uh, and if you can identify some of the anime there, Drop it in the comment section below, we'll be best friends forever. Left is a street in Vietnam, just a picture I looked, that looked really cool, so I wanted to see that every single day. Uh, the other ones are really nothing, and the bottom two on the right are my favorite, well, some of my favorite animes. I wanna, I wanna kind of grow it more, I wanna actually like be out there taking my own pictures uh, of my travels, and then just posting them there so I can like kind of go back but I just travel so much and I don't have any time to be able to do stuff like that I wish I did but that would be called a vacation this is not a vacation this is a business travel it's a business 
we are out here in business, you know what I'm saying? You have a partition. I put that partition up just for this video because behind that partition are a bunch of bookshelves. And those bookshelves contain a lot of like personal tax documents and big folders and binders. If you're watching and you're from the IRS, there's nothing back there that should even like, you know, remotely uh, draw your attention. Okay, I'm a very clean person, always do my taxes, never had anything to do with Panama. Very clean, good man. I'm a good man, okay? Uh, talking about the mask, because I did tell you, I'd tell you. Um, I was, I wanted to trim my mustache. Uh, and I trimmed my mustache, and then I was like, hey, I should also trim my beard. Uh, but I forgot to change the level on the tip of the the razor thingy, and I ran the same level on my beard, and that literally just like, pssst, like that literally just took off all the hair on my beard. Like you can, you can kind of tell there's like, yeah, it's messed up. It's really messed up because once I went like that, I was like, oh shoot, that's too short. Damn, I messed up. We gotta go ball, fam. Oh, so this is a glass case. I have a few glasses. Um, but these are my some of my favorite ones. Right here, as you can see. So I do wear glasses uh, permanently. I don't wear them in videos just because I don't want to. There's a lot of like... Uh, so that's what I look like with these ones on. Yeah, that's what I look like with these ones on. Uh, but I feel like the the light reflects out of them and then you guys would be able to see like rings in my in my glasses and think that would be really awkward for you guys. So that's why I don't wear them during the videos. But yes, I do wear glasses. As far as wire management is concerned, I have none. Uh, I have these like uh, rubber things on the edge, on these two edges. Uh, to keep the chargers up so I don't have to go like underneath and get them. I'm considering now going to Razer's wireless mouse. Uh, and maybe just getting a regular wireless mechanical keyboard here that's also TKL um, just to clean up the space but honestly wires don't make me go crazy like if, if I see a wire my, my dick isn't gonna get hard like you know what I mean it's, it's, I don't, some people do you know when they see a wire I understand they they just want to kill themselves but for me wires don't really mean too much I just see a wire I'm like all right that's cool but, it's just me, it's just who I am. And then down back here are drawers that'll have like extra pencils and extra pens and things like that that I kind of need on a regular basis. Just like a place for me to throw stuff and to hide stuff if my mom ever just runs into my room. Always, always have that, you know what I'm saying? The drawers are there, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this video. Uh, it's a very different video. I don't think it's gonna be a long video either, which is not a bad thing. Uh, there's also a microphone here. Um, this is the microphone that I use for my videos. I hope it sounds good. But that's it. So uh, what's gonna happen is as I grow and as I, you know, change and my desk is gonna change with me, I promise you uh, I'm gonna be making more videos showing upgrades. So I promise you that this desk is going to change within the year even um, because I am so, so fluid. And that's a good thing to be always changing. Uh, and one of the things that's always changing is, uh, you know, the companies that I operate. So as I acquire more companies, generally what happens is my desk is going to grow for the holding company. So if, I oper if I'm operating more and more companies, my desk is going to grow. I'm going to have more modules and things like that. And then as my company sells off some of its holdings, my desk actually gets smaller. So it does change quite a bit. Um, so it's, uh, it, is, it is what it is. It is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe. It really helps out a growing channel like mine. I'm trying to hit a thousand. Once I hit a thousand, I promise I'll do a q and I'll answer all of your questions, whether it's business, whether it's YouTube, whatever it might be. Um, I'm more than happy to answer that for you. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope maybe I was able to inspire, although I'm not a very inspiring person. <laughs> I'm not too creative. So, you know, it, I hope I hope I gave you some ideas. Uh, and I've got everything linked down below in case you're interested in going out and buying something uh, that you saw here. I'm gonna see you guys later. Take it easy. Peace.